My name is Kishwani. It's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here. The official guide to the GRE, Revised Journal Test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 157. Page 157 and today is our lesson number 60. It is day number 60. This is the homework that I gave you yesterday. We were doing problem number 8 and I, I gave you a similar problem to do, prob similar to the problem that you see problem number 8 on that page and I ask you to do it on your, on your own and the answer choice is for these for this question are the exact same five fast choices that you see that appear with question number eight in the book. However, before I actually solve this part, as I was watching as I was watching the video for the day number 59, I realized that I made a tiny error. So I, want to, I need to fix that error before I actually start with the problem that you see here. So the problem that we did yesterday, I'm going to redo it very quickly. Here is how it looks like. 2 minus 5x is less than or equal to negative 6x minus 5 over 3. What we did is we multiplied both sides of the inequality by a 3 and by doing so we got rid of this 3 and this is the negative, negative 1 in front of it here. This negative is a negative 1. So far so good. This is 6 3 times negative 5 is negative 15x, which is less than or equal to negative 1 times a 6 is a negative 6x. Negative 1 times negative 5 is, is positive 5. So far, so good. We added 6x to both sides to get rid of this 6x. I'm doing it in a quick manner because this is a repetition from yesterday. Negative 15x and a positive 6x gives us negative 9x, which is less than or equal to Let's, this is a positive 6, subtract 6 from both sides and that takes care of this 6. Positive 5 and negative 6 gives us negative 1. And then what I said is that in order to get rid of this negative from both sides we need to multiply both sides of the inequality by negative 1 and by doing so this negative 1 times negative 9, negative 1 times negative 9 gives us positive 9x negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 and because we are multiplying both sides of inequality by negative 1 the direction switches direction switches now keep listening okay very carefully direction switches the mistake that I made is that the direction does switch as soon as you multiply but well, there is there you go I just said it as soon as you multiply by a negative number as soon as you multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative number the direction of the inequality switches immediately not in the next step now in the next step, I should have made the switch right here. That's all. That's all. This, this, this direction switch is here. I waited until the next step. That was an error on my part. Let's do the problem for today, okay? We're done with this one. That's it. The answer doesn't change, of course. The answer is the same because I, I made the switch in the next step, which I should have done in the previous step. Let's do the problem for today, which is a very similar problem to the one you, that you saw yesterday. We are told that 3 minus 7x is less than or equal to 2x minus 3 over negative 2. How do we get rid of the negative 2 from the bottom? Oh, very simple. Let's multiply, let's multiply both sides of the inequality by negative 2. Notice, what does it say here? What did we learn yesterday? It says, if you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, the direction of the inequality switches immediately. Immediately. I'm not going to put down the word immediately here because I don't know how to spell the damn thing. Immediately, that is. Right away. Direction of the switches. Direction of the inequality switches. I feel embarrassed because I should know how to spell immediately. 
but uh, I am not a good speller, you understand? Switches immediately, not in the next step, it, the direction of the inequality switches immediately, which is what's going to happen here because we just multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative 2. So the, here, the direction of the inequality will switch from the very first step. It switches from the very first step. And now we got a negative 2 on the bottom, we got a negative 2 on the top, it drops out. Here we got 2x minus 3, it's just going to come down, 2x minus 3, which is, and here we have negative 2, and negative 2 times a 3 is going to give us negative 6, a negative 2 times a negative 7, negative 2 times a negative 7 is going to give us positive 14x. We want to get rid of this, this 2x from, from the right hand side, let's subtract 2x from both sides of the inequality. So. Let's subtract 2x from both sides and therefore here we have a positive 2x, here we have a negative 2x, it drops out. I also want to get rid of this 3 from, from this side, or rather, we want to bring the numbers to, to the right hand side. I want to get rid of this negative 6 from this side, so let's add 6 to both sides. So here we have a negative 6 and a positive 6, it drops out. 14x minus 2x is going to give us 12x which is greater than or equal to a negative 3 and a positive 6 is a positive 3. Let's, let's, divide both sides by let's divide both sides by 12. And since we're dividing it by positive 12, the direction is not going to change. The 12 drops out and x is greater than or equal to a quarter, a positive quarter. As I told you yesterday, as I reminded you yesterday, even though strictly speaking, when the quantity is positive, one is not required to put down positive, but in a situation like this, it is always wise to insert that positive inferent to make it conspicuous so that you know that it is positive. So x is greater than or equal to a positive quarter. And therefore the graph is same as before. The answer does not change. Yesterday the answer was C and today the answer is C. The answer is C. The graph is going to look like this. Here is your zero. Here is the positive quantity. In this case, you don't have to indicate what it is, some positive, x is some quantity, x is some positive quantity, and forever and ever. x is greater, x is greater than some positive quantity, there is some positive quantity. This thing is all filled up because of the equal sign here. And again, if you do not know what I mean, greater than or equal to is what I meant here. If you do not know what I, what I, what I just, if you do not know what I just meant, watch yesterday's video, day number 59. But in a question like this, for some strange reason, a third of the people will miss it. You just have to pay attention, that's all, don't freak out. Just stay calm, and if you, make a, if you multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, switch the direction of the inequality immediately. That is the only pitfall here. The rest is downhill. The rest is uh, simple. I will see you tomorrow on day number 61. Alright? I know.